you're listening to tabloid guys like like the guy you just said. Greg Doucette. Well, everybody's on it. No, you were on it. So there's no reason for me to even try because I got to get on sauce to look like that What's guy. The Coach Greg, and boy, do I have a good one for you today. Been called out by Michael Hearn, Mark Bell, the entire podcast, calling out Coach Greg. And so Michael Hearn and others, they've had enough. Oh, why do you need to call us out? We're natural. We can achieve a physique like this. Oh, it's it's your ruining life for everyone, Coach Greg, because you're making people want to give up training. I never did that. I'm just calling it like it is. And so just because I say Michael Hearn is a fake natty and others doesn't mean that you can't build a quality physique. Look at my physique from the past. As a teenager, guy in my 20s had a great physique. Wasn't as massive as when I took PEs. But I certainly had quality development. And so I'm not discouraging people from working out. I'm encouraging them. And all the while telling them to have realistic goals and expectations. I'm telling these guys, you're listening to tabloid guys, like, like the guy you just said, that says, everybody's on it. No, you were on it. Gotta love the part where Michael Hearn says, and the guy you just said, which was Greg Doucette. Say my name. Mike doesn't even want to repeat my name. Why? Well, he knows they're going to do a video. He's hoping I won't. I think... It allows people to bolster down on their personal belief systems. Like there are guys. What does that mean? Greg Doucette. I'm, I'm going to spe say okay. specific names because there, there are guys like this where I watch their videos. I'm like, you're giving people information, but you're allowing people to believe things. That's going to make them not push themselves. So Greg makes all these natty right or not term. type videos where it makes young guys are like, oh, well, yeah, that guy's on drugs. That guy's on drugs. That guy's on drugs. Right. There's no wonder why I look the way I do. And so it's in his belief that by me saying a guy's a fake natty, that it's convincing other people not to try. How do you draw that conclusion? That makes no sense. Hey guys, Michael Hearn is a fake natural. Oh, Greg said Mike's a fake natty. I'm not training anymore. I give up. How does it hurt for me to say, if you use PDs, you're probably going to build muscle faster than if you're natural. The fact it's going to take me a year to only put on five pounds of muscle, well, I'm not going to. I only want to train if I can put on 30 pounds like that fake natty. Why would that make you stop? Listen, when in doubt, always tell the truth. If you're not sure if you should tell people if you're taking PDs or not, tell them. Be honest. It's always a smarter policy to tell the truth. So there's no reason for me to even try because I got to get on sauce to look like that What's guy. What's the point of him doing that? Well, it gets it, views. They, they all do that. Yeah. Yeah. It, get, yeah. it, gets, it gets views and engagement. I mean, you've heard it here and you're hearing what I'm saying. And so he's saying when Coach Greg calls out fake natties, Michael Hearn, Liverkin, Simeon Panda, and so on, that people are watching that and saying, why do I even bother training? If I can't look like that, unless I'm taking PDs, then I'm just going to quit. Well, I'd rather you know the truth. I'd rather you get into the sport of bodybuilding, weightlifting, whatever, and have realistic goals. And understand that, yeah, if you don't take PDs, you're probably not going to end up looking like Phil Heath. You're probably not going to look like Arnold Schwarzenegger. And so if that hurts you so much and it prevents you from doing it, I'd rather be honest. I'd rather tell people this. Look, you can train your entire life, and unless you have amazing genetics and take PDs, you're never going to look like Michael Hearn. How is that bad? If someone hires me and is 400 pounds and says, my goal is to have under 10% body fat, which happens all the time. That's right. Most people hire me. I want single digit body fat. Do you know what I write back? It's not realistic. It's kind of lean. I'm around 9% and I really know what I'm doing. And it's hard for me to maintain sub 9% body fat. And so what makes you think you at 400 pounds, suddenly going to lose 200 pounds, be shredded, look like Coach Greg? Probably one in a billion chance you'll be able to do it. And so why should you have those goals? And so rather than that, I say, halfway there, let's slowly lose weight. And perhaps one day you can get to a healthy body, 15% body fat. There's no need to have single digit body fat. Why are we trying to emulate this? Just because your favorite YouTuber, Instagram model has single digit body fat doesn't mean that you need to. And just because you don't look like Michael Hearn doesn't mean you don't look good. I'm telling these guys, you're listening to tabloid guys like, like the guy you just said that says everybody's on it. No, you were on it. <laughs>
I love it. He keeps saying, like the guy you just said, it's Greg Doucette. Michael Hearn, you're allowed to say my name. We write in the DMs. We're cool. You're allowed to say Coach Greg, Greg Doucette. I disagree with you. But why wouldn't they go, I don't care if this guy did or didn't do it. I'm going to be better than him. And, and try to one up instead of going negative, going, I'm phoning in. Forget it. They're all on it. I'm out. Why do people do that? And so Mike does bring up a great point. He says, if you compare yourself to people up there who you think you could never be as good as, then you're going to stay down here. But if you think you can surpass them, then maybe one day you will. But here's the problem, Mike. You had these people who were up there. They were the elite, the best of the best. And what did you do? You ended up taking PDs. You're not natural. And so you're saying you can achieve anything. You can achieve greatness. And we've seen videos in the past where he said, you did this while having low testosterone. Imagine all this amazing success, all with horrible genetics, low testosterone. It's not possible. And so the truth, the reality is, is that you have exquisite, beyond amazing genetics that combined with an amazing work ethic and dedication far better than 99.999% of the population and PDs and the PDs. Now, without the PDs, I still think you'd be amazing. Unfriggin' real. People would still say you're fake natty, but you wouldn't be quite as good as you are right now. And I'm not saying you're abusing PDs, not saying you're going on crazy cycles, but I am saying you're not natural. You're goddamn right. And so if people don't ever know that they're idols, they're heroes, Michael Hearn, The Rock, Phil Heath, Mr. Olympias, The Big Rammies, Chris Bumstead, if everyone thinks they're all natural and no one calls them out, no one talks about this, then people who don't achieve that will feel inferior. They'll say, why can't I do that? Why am I so bad? Why does God hate me? How come I work my entire life and I can't even look average? A six pack, I have a freaking keg. Why can't I do better? They might be trying harder than last time, but perhaps they have more fat cells, more ghrelin, they're hungrier. They were not born to build a shit ton of muscle. Doesn't mean they can't improve, doesn't mean they can't get better, but they'll never get even close to a physique like The Rock or Michael Hearn. And at that point, they're gonna look for the secrets, the shortcuts, and they will also use PDs. And they will also tell lies. They will also be fake daddies. And so this trend will continue. I don't care if this guy did or didn't do it. I'm gonna be better than him. And so Mike is saying, I don't care if they did steroids or not. I'm gonna be better than them. Well, that is ridiculous. Why not just compare yourself to the best naturals in the world and say, I'm gonna be better than that. Why are we picking the best athletes in the world who are not even natural and saying, I'm going to achieve that without PDs? Really? And so if you want to beat the best natural athletes, take my physique when I was in my 20s. Look at that body and say, hey, he did that natural. I want to be better than that. Don't pick my pro card winning physique and say, I want to beat that. It's ridiculous because what's going to happen is 99.99999% of people are going to fail and then say, why did I fail? And then when you fail, that's when you feel bad about yourself. That's when you develop body dysmorphia and so on. And what do you do? Oftentimes you'll result in taking PDs. And I said to him, I said, the point of me trying to pull Mona in there is that you guys give information, give all of it, give all the information. I'm pretty sure that I, in fact, have given out all the information, Derek as well, the pros and cons of PD usage. We've made a number of these videos. And so I don't know why he's saying, hey, why aren't you giving out all the information? It's like there's women out there that are walking around stronger than guys and they're not on anything. They're females. <laughs> And you're saying a guy can't be somewhat muscular? And so then Mike brings up a point and said, there's women, they can lift more than you and they're natural. And so why do you not think that you can't beat that? Well, some women have hit the genetic lottery. And so just because a woman is stronger than you and natural doesn't mean that you can just beat them. Some women have better genetics than you with lower testosterone levels. It's just how it works. Same way as some women can outrun a man. 100 meter dash, I can train my entire life. I will not break the female 100 meter dash record. They will by far make me look slow. And so just because a woman beats you at something is stronger than you or has bigger muscles doesn't mean that as a man that you're somehow inferior that you should just be able to get better. Maybe you just don't have the best genetics. And they might be saying, oh, that's just making excuses. You're making an excuse. If this girl can deadlift 550 pounds natural, you as a man, you obviously should be able to do that. 
No, not everyone can deadlift 550 pounds natural. In the same way as not every man can run the 100 meter dash in under 11 seconds just because women can do it. Because the young kids just started their journey. They've been lifting for a few months. They didn't really see a big difference yet because maybe they haven't stuck with it long enough. They, may, may, they probably just haven't been consistent enough yet. But what happens if you double down and start to go all in rather than only making it twice a week and, and missing a week and so forth? What happens if you go four or five days a week? And so what Mark Bell's bring up is a great point. And the way I see it is this. If those young kids have been training a couple months and they see these dramatic transformations, which were done with enhancements, and people like me, they don't call them out and don't say, hey, look, this transformation where they put on 40 pounds of muscle in one year, that was not done natural. If that young kid sees that video and thinks, wow, they put on 40 pounds of muscle in a year and they start training and a year later, they've only put on eight eight pounds. They're thinking there's something wrong with me. And then they go and use PDs. But if they were told, Hey, that transformation that was done with trend, the 40 pounds, extra muscle, they were abusing PDs the entire time and probably dramatically shorten their life. That kid, maybe they think twice. Maybe they think, Oh, I could potentially gain 40 pounds if I use those PDs. But I know that that's not realistic. I know that that doesn't make sense for me. And so I'm going to lower my expectations and still train harder than last time, still do what it takes, but do so in a smart and safe manner. And to me, it's all about education, telling them the truth, telling them honestly, openly. Steroids will in fact make you bigger, faster, but you still shouldn't do them. You're too young. You're a teenager. Wait until you're an adult that you've reached your natural genetic limit and only with the advice of a doctor should you ever decide to take PDs. Yes, I do use performance enhancing drugs um, and I still use them today. It, it, I, I am very open about it. And so Mark Bell say, look, I'm honest. I tell people my HRT. I tell people the cycles I've done. I'm not lying to you. And so when he gives nutrition advice, people say, yeah, but you're on HRT. Yeah, but you took steroids. You don't think I get that every single time? Why don't listen to you? You take steroids. Well, I did 42 competitions natural, trained for decades without taking anything. And so the reason people are fake natties is because people suddenly give them no respect. You, you admit to taking PDs and people will suddenly say, oh, that's why you have all those muscles. That's why you have a six pack. Nothing to do with your effort, your education, or how hard you train. Babe, seagull bars are in. I freaking saw how Finally got a bar you like. I'll take one of each and see which one. Yeah, I just eat them all. I think this is the softest one. Which one? Hurt the cake. I think I remember being the softest. I think I still like the double chocolate bit better though. They can say whatever about me. I've been in the magazines forever, but they can't say that about her. It just went through a pregnancy mm -hmm. and looked the same before, during, and after. It's like, wait a minute, you can't, you, a woman can have, be on steroids and have a baby? I mean, that's just, so nobody's gonna say that. I'm not doing a natty or not on her, but I certainly know women who have used steroids out of her while being pregnant, before, during, and after. And to me, if you're capable of looking just as good before, during, and after a pregnancy, to me, that's an indication that you probably are doing something. After all, it should be excessively difficult to look just as good right after a pregnancy as while you're pregnant. When you're pregnant, say eight months in, very hard to train harder than last time to do the cardio and the hard training that you're doing. And so it's normal for your body to lose a little bit of muscle when you're pregnant, perhaps increase a bit of body fat. Following pregnancy, chances are the next day you're not going into the gym doing a bunch of squats and deadlifts. Please don't think you can look just as good right after giving birth as you could before you got pregnant in the first place. Yes, yeah, sure, you can get it back. Six months, a year later, yes, of course. But just because you're a woman, just because you're good looking, attractive, doesn't mean that you're natural. If you're a kid, if you're in your teens, don't do it. Don't do it. Because you're such a young pup that your body's working so productive for you. And so Mike, he's got a great message. And although I do believe he's a fake natty, at least he's saying, look, teenagers, you don't need to do it. You shouldn't do it. It's a mistake to do it. And so he doesn't want you to take PDs. Don't There's know. not anything we could do because people will still say, oh, even the Olympians, those guys are on shit too. And they figure out ways of passing the test. So there's no way. To and a great point from Mark Bell. I mean, there's so many good points in this video. He says, look, if we wanted to prove that we're natural, if we did a test and posted it, people are still going to poke at the test and say, yeah, but you might have cycled off or you did this and the test couldn't detect that. 
Great freaking point. But you know what else is true? If you do a test and you discover that you're not natural, then you proved you're not natural. And so it's not easy to prove that you're natural, but it's easy to prove that you're not. And so if Michael Hearn did a test and we saw his testosterone levels were 5,000 nanograms per deciliter, we'd be like, well, that's obvious. You're obviously a fake daddy. And so although those tests wouldn't prove he's natural, it could in fact prove that he's not natural. And so my advice, if you want to actually prove that you're natural, you have to be tested at a time when you're doing really good, when you look your best. And you should not be notified of this. Randomly, at random, somebody can come and test you on any given day that they want. And if you pass a test at that point, well, that is very good evidence that you're natural. Not proof. It's possible you're still cheating. But at least it would give you some benefit to the doubt. And if the test does in fact show that you're enhanced, well then the debate is over once and for all. Hope you enjoyed the video. Looking for the new Seco bars. They're all back in stock. 10% off. Remember, 27% bigger. 220 calories, 20 grams of protein, 15 grams of fiber. It's absolutely ridiculous, the macros on this bar. Compared to any leading bar on the market, not only are these bars bigger, they taste amazing and have great friendly macros for you. Use code GREG. Click the link in the description. 10% off. It's not just the Seco bars. Go into the glasses. G-Focus, G-Test, G-Shred, GO2 Max, Acti Builder, Delta Sleep, Liver Support, Creatine, Bid Alanine, 3 Test, Ashwagandha, Tom Cataly, Ali's favorite, and many more. I don't got time. I got to race bikes. Subscribe. Click the bell button. Comment for the algorithm. Watch the freaking bloops. Can you tell the pre-workouts kick in? And until next time, I'm out.